all future F-15E pilots and weapon systems officers come through Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. There are a lot of things that the F-15E can do and a lot of things we have to provide to the combatant commanders all around the world. So we have to be proficient in any one of those tasks so that when we're called to do a given task, we're prepared to the best of our abilities. So there's a lot of phases, a lot of capabilities of the Strike Eagle that it has. Uh, and then the, those combat commanders, what they're requesting us to be able to do. We can uh, accomplish both air-to-air -air missions and air-to-ground missions. We are able to employ the vast majority of bombs and missiles that are in the Air Force inventory in order to uh, prosecute America's targets. You have the transition slash the advanced handling characteristics uh, phase. You have the BFM, which stands for Basic Fighter uh, Maneuvers uh, phase. Uh, after that, you go into um, tactical intercepts and, and then uh, advanced combat maneuvers of uh, phase and air ground surface attack. So just how to drop bombs. And then uh, LASDAT is uh, low altitude step down training. So how to actually maneuver the uh, jet against an air to air threat in a low altitude uh, regime down at like 500 feet. Uh, after that, you surface attack phase uh, encapsulating the capsule type of uh, fight where you now we got to fight our way into the uh, area we got to drop bombs on the enemy and then we got to fight our way back out of the uh, area the teacher student ratio in the f-15e basic course is roughly three and a half instructors uh, per student however in any given sortie so training mission it will be a one-to-one -one student to instructor ratio we have a uh, Instructor pilot with a student WISO in the lead jet, and then in the secondary jet is going to be a student pilot with an instructor WISO. We basically have to know both jobs when we're going into uh, each sortie. It allows the student pilot and the student WISO to receive hands-on training in the aircraft, as well as during the debrief and the briefings, it allows the instructor pilot and instructor WISO to teach to their crew position as well as the crew coordination that is required. So being an F-15E WISO in training and soon to be an operational WISO has been one of the proudest things I've ever done. That's a great experience and I look forward to all the future holds in this jet. <laughs>